Mr. Warren, don't expect an interest rate cut. Fed Chair Jerome Powell saying we're not quite at that target rate of 2% yet, adding, quote, we did not expect this to be a smooth road, but these inflation readings were higher than I think anybody expected, end quote. Joining me right now to discuss all this is business expert Shivani Joshi. Thank you so much uh, for being here. You know, this is certainly something that has weighed on the hearts and minds of Americans in every class. Even if you make enough money to go to the grocery store and buy whatever you want, you will be shocked. It's like, why are these tomatoes $9? I don't understand. <laughs> so, yeah. so, I mean, yeah. tomatoes aside, like, what should we do in terms of preparing for another high season of inflation? Yeah, um, as I saw earlier on your show, Adrian, you know, this high inflationary environment that we're living in impacts is the highest worry for 55% of Americans, and it touches Americans at every income bracket, but particularly the lowest wage bracket as well. And if you're anticipating any sort of relief anytime soon, I hate to say it, it's not coming. It's not coming that we're going to see a break in interest rates. Um, uh, Jerome Powell has gone out and said, um, that they're continuing to, to read the tea leaves. And the tea leaves, Adrian, are showing that the high interest rates still need time to work their way into the system. The, the major metrics that the Fed uses to make these decisions are GDP, which remains robust and growing, um, employment, which remains strong, and then the inflation number. All three remain strong, and so there's no reason to believe when we get that CPI number later on this week that it's going to see any change out of the Fed. You would know better than I, so I'm going to ask you this question, and hopefully it's not a silly one, but this big scheme that we just heard the report from Evan Lambert uh, regarding this Atlanta-based company raising rents on properties across the country in this fix that, again, these are allegations that the DOJ is looking into. Yep. Does the Fed take those kinds of things into account, you know, nationwide potential schemes, or is it all just simple math? because consumer confidence is just getting hit time and time again. Yeah, it's hard for the, the Fed to take into every single data uh, piece that's out there. What the Fed looks for are these um, very reliable and predictive measures of economic health that have been um, really the pillars of economic theory and policy uh, from its beginning. It is GDP. It is in the employment or unemployment number, and it is inflation. That being said, what you start to hear anecdotally, which will trickle into the numbers that the Fed will, it, it will eventually read, are things like uh, credit card delinquencies, um, increase in rents that will end up decreasing consumer demand, which will end up trickling into the GDP number. So these are the early stages of what we see when um, you start to see Americans pay more for gas, pay more for rent, pay more for food. Well, they're not going to go into the economy and spend on new cars. They're not going to go and travel. They're not going to go and do all the things, buy new uh, iPhones to do all the things that we need to maintain the GDP uh, number. So these are just to me, uh, very consistent um, inputs that we're eventually going to see the GDP and the economy slow, which is what the, the economists also are predicting later on this year. Shivani Joshi, we appreciate you joining us. Thanks for that smart.